Hey, what's going on, y'all? Another video here. Um, getting a video here on my new uh, EDC uh, folding knife uh, that I just picked up. And uh, I think I mentioned last night on my cigar time uh, that I was going to be doing this video here. So, and if you hear the little one in the back, I got the princess with me. Yeah. Where's the baby? Go get the baby. Is the baby sleeping? Anyways, uh, been doing a lot of cigar time videos, which I haven't really been meaning to, but with everything I keep seeing on the news and stuff popping up, and I've been out there watching it, drinking my whiskey and smoking a cigar, I've been doing these videos. I haven't done any fires because it hasn't been cold, but I just can't believe all the stuff that's going on uh, every day. It's just... Which I already knew was going to happen. And like I said last night, my wife was telling me that a bunch of Democrats that voted for Biden are now uh, realizing they screwed up. And uh, the Democrats are going to, they want to destroy this country. And divide us even more. So, anyways, but the people that saw it coming, they knew. And, you know, so it's not a surprise. It's just sad and frustrated and ang I'm, I mean, a lot of anger and I've been trying to control it. Um, KSOC48 made a video yesterday uh, talking about Trump um, and the Patriot Party that he's uh, starting up. Uh, so it was good to hear about that. Go check out that video. It was a good video. She had a lot of detail information in that. Uh, but one thing she mentioned too is uh, she's been struggling, is, you know, is with this whole thing, you know, with the being upset and trying to have patience. You know, people as she knows are trying to tell her to have patience and patience. And that's kind of the same thing I'm going through. Um, a lot of anger, just, I, I'm just frustrated, upset, and um, and watching this country be destroyed, it's, it's killing me. So, it's killing me inside. But anyways, but it's not over. We're gonna keep fighting, never gonna quit, never gonna back down. Gonna keep come, going for. And moving forward to save this country and take this country back. So, anyways, I've been doing a lot of praying. Uh, I think on two cigar, three cigar time videos, I was really upset. Uh, actually, I think that was the first day in office for Biden. I was really upset that day. So, I needed a couple of days to kind of clear my mind and, and get my mind right and, and uh, pray and trust in the Lord. So, uh, that's what I've been trying to do here. So, anyways. But... Got a new EDC knife. Uh, like I said, Corey with uh, Patriot, Patriot Civil Defense. Um, actually just did a video on the Buck 873 uh, tactical knife, which is not a bad knife at all, uh, especially for the price point. I think that knife goes for 35 I think it was. 30 35 on Amazon. Um, but for a great, great EDC tactical knife, um, you know, nothing that's going to break the bank. Uh, but definitely built the last uh, and was a solid blade. Uh, it is on the hefty side. Uh, you know, it's got some weight to it as far as EDC goes, but it's a knife that you, uh, as far as a tactical knife, you don't want a light tactical tactical knife. There, there sh you shouldn't have a lightweight tactical knife. That's not a tactical knife. All right, that's a camping, backpacking, uh, little small EDC blade, but that's not a tactical knife. A tactical knife is built solid heavy and built to last and it's something that you're going to be using for a job for work use or in everyday stuff and you want it to hold up uh, you know for that so <clears throat> anyways but uh, when Corey put that video out i was actually looking at new edc knives i really love black scout survivals uh edc knife that he came out with his his folding knife uh but you know for the price i think i mentioned this before um, the price is just for my for my budget and for my uh, lifestyle. You know what I need it for. Uh, it's just more than that, than I need. Uh, you know, if I was in the military or law enforcement or or uh, some type of security work, you know, it, it'd definitely be a great tool to have for uh, self defense and uh, also for EDC. But uh, for me, I didn't really need to spend that much on a folding knife. But if there was a number one folding knife. That'd be it, the Black Scout. So anyways, but anyways, I've been looking at folder knives and I've never really bought too many folder knives. Uh, the, the one I've been using, 
Yeah, the Kershaw Emerson. I've been using this now for a while. I actually got this for free from uh, USCCA. Uh, they threw that in there. It's a decent knife, decent blade, especially good for like everyday stuff. Uh, as far as self-defense goes, to me, this is not a self-defense knife. Uh, could you use it for a self-defense? Maybe. Uh, but I'd be worried about the blade snapping off. And then it doesn't have a big handle on it, so you can't really use it too much for striking. Uh, even though I probably could use it on that point, I could use it for striking. But, um, and the weight's not too bad. It does have a little bit of weight, but not as much as a tactical knife. Uh, but as far as uh, it doesn't have a strike, but a glass breaker on the back, you know, as far as striking goes. Um, but anyways, and then the pocket clip. You know, it doesn't go deep into the pocket. Uh, my biggest concern with this knife was when I'm working, and that's one thing I'm gonna talk about, this new knife that I really love. Uh, I, you know, me work, I do, I have a physical job. I do a lot of physical work. And, you know, like yesterday I was cutting down trees, hauling debris, and I'm, you know, the limbs are hitting me and hitting my pockets. And, and anytime we're doing cleanup jobs and stuff like that, I've had a knife before where I had it on my pocket and have a pocket clip and I actually uh, lost the knife the knife came out out of my pocket it was a different knife and uh, and I actually went back and I did find it though but after that you know I had to really be careful and with these pocket clips if it's not a deep riding uh, deep sit in pocket clip like a shorter clip where it can sit deeper in your pocket I really have to be careful and one of the things with this one I was worried I was probably gonna lose it because of the clip because I long this uh, but I haven't and I still got it and I've had it uh, through a lot of stuff uh, working and so I'm surprised I haven't lost it but I've always I'm always checking to make sure it's there uh, you know just to make sure I didn't lose it if I did lose it it was free but at the same time I didn't want to lose it so anyways but that's the EDC knife I've been carrying out for a little bit uh, but the new EDC knife I got is put out by a company and the company is off grid knives and this is the sea dog version 2 blackout now uh, the company if you haven't seen them or know about them go check them out uh, i did purchase this knife on amazon so for anybody that doesn't want to support amazon anymore uh, you probably want to you know i guess go to their website or whatever um just checking here yeah yeah they got their website uh offgridknives.com is, you know on the back here but you can go to their website you know and see more of their blades and then also purchase from them but for me um, I go through Amazon I do have an Amazon uh, credit card and I do get points uh, this knife on Amazon goes for $60 uh, I actually got it for like 50 because I had some points on there um, but anyways but that's where I purchase it uh, but off grid knives is the company they do give you a sticker in there, which this is their their logo right there. Nice logo. Um, now on the package, uh, this is their book. This is their catalog that they give you off grid knives, and you know they got you know clothes and different blades and everything. But here's a just to show you this. Here's a lot of the different knives that they offer. Uh, in different blades yeah, I'm sure you can go to their website or go to Amazon and they got more on there I know Amazon's got a few of these on there uh, the blade I got the sea dog version 2 is not on here uh, they actually have it on the side here it says coming soon and they got five new blades coming out soon and the sea dog version 2 blackout is one of them so uh, but anyways to show you some of the blades they got and that's the reverse tonto blade anyways so which is what i got so uh as far as that blade goes uh blade design anyway so that's the company sea dog or off grid knives and the knife and this is the sea dog version 2 blackout oh let me do that again get a better flip on that one blackout see yeah, see if you get a good, yeah. <laughs> what is it, the thumbnail? Oh, you good, Savannah? You good? Okay, be careful now. 
Uh, anyways, um, the thumbnail. I did write down some information on this place. I can give a little bit of info on it because it's, it, I really did like the knife. Uh, I used this, I had it in my pocket yesterday. I actually used it at work and uh, like I normally do with my blades. And uh, knife was great. Uh, this is a hefty knife. Uh, it weighs, what was it? 6.5 ounces is what the weight is on it. And uh, so it, it does have some weight. It is a hefty knife. Um, as you can see here, it has the short clip on it. Now, I, I used this yesterday. I was cutting down trees, hauling debris, had tree limbs hit me, hitting my pants, my pockets, dragging limbs, all this stuff. And, and I, that was all day going at it. And um, never had one issue with this pocket clip. Uh, this pocket is it is a short pocket clip and it rides super deep. Uh, that's actually what they describe on their uh, on the on the page. But it does sit in really deep. And I've never had a clip like this before. Uh, it is a reverse clip, so you can, you know, if you're a lefty, you can switch it over here. So it does have the reverse clip on it. Um, but never had any issues. I've never had a clip this short and felt you know how deep it goes into the pocket. I'm just gonna show you with the shorts I got on. Um, but I mean, if I, I don't even see it, but anyways, I mean it sits down there so deep. I mean the the strike or the glass breaker barely even sticks out. It sits so deep. So hey, be careful up there. Anyways, uh, so the short clip really rise super deep i really love that never had any issues uh, the blade i'll go into the blade the blade is sick um it is a flipper and does have jimping on the flipper there uh you know for the you get a nice flip out on it uh it does have ceramic ball bearings in it uh it is black wash uh 100 black wash the entire knife uh and it does have the ceramic ball bearings it has jimping on the flipper uh, it does have jimping on the blade up here, up top on the spine, so you can really get down, you know, and get a nice grip on it. Really nice handle. Uh, that's one thing I was going to say. I have medium-sized hands, so you can see it has an extension on the back end of the, the handle, uh, so if you're using the glass breaker, but, uh, and then it has a jimping up top. Uh, what was I going to say? I'm trying to make sure. All right, so... The blade is a reverse Tonto uh, blade. Now the reason why I want a new EDC knife and I, I went with a Tonto, and this is actually the only Tonto blade I have as far as uh, knives, period. But the thing about the Tonto blade is it makes for a great self-defense tool uh, or great self-defense blade, uh, especially on a tactical aspect of things. Um, it's used, <clears throat> the Tonto blade is good for, for striking and piercing. Uh, so if you do strike, uh, it does go, you know, into a nice uh, cut and a deep cut too. Um, it's just the the way the Tonto blade is designed. It's designed for striking and uh, and and stabbing. So that's why I went to with the Tonto. And the reason I wanted to switch my EDC to a Tonto blade is because I wanted to get a better self defense folding knife. Um, with the way things are going in this country, I am preparing uh, for chaos. Um, I am preparing for things to get bad. I do believe there is a war coming, <clears throat> a war coming, and things are going to get worse before they get better. So for me, I wanted to make sure my whole EDC setup was on a self-defense tactical level, I guess you could say. Um, I might do a video showing my EDC. It's basically pretty much the same thing. Except now I have a, a, a new folder knife. Um, but anyways, but that's why I went with a Tonto blade. And I wanted to switch to a Tonto blade and get one because of the self-defense aspect of it. Now the great thing about this blade too, and the great thing about the reverse Tonto that a lot of people have grown to love, it's a really universal blade. Uh, so you can use it for EDC tasks and everyday stuff, and, but it can also be used in a tactical aspect. So, um, it has a titanium, well, it's a Verse Tonto blade, cryogenic Japanese uh, AUS-8 uh, blade steel. So, it's Japanese steel, which I really liked. Uh, huge plus there. 
Uh, that's the only thing about the buck knife. I was really sad to see that buck knives uh, has China now making them. Um, and it's just sad to see that buck knives used to be made in the U.S. But now they, uh, now they're being made by China. And I'm not a big fan of Chinese steel. So there's some knives that come out of China that has some good steel, but now with everything going on uh, in today's government and you know in today's world, I don't want to support China anyway. Anyway, I cannot support them. I try not to, uh, but at times it's hard. But as far as a uh, new folding knife, I wanted to make sure I wasn't getting a Chinese uh, made knife. So this is actually made in Taiwan is where it came out of us, but it's set on the package. Uh, Japanese AUS8 blade steel and it is titanium coating on it um, it does have a, a grippy uh, G10 scales on it so it, it is good if your hands are wet or if you got blood on your hands or whatever the case may be uh, it does have nice uh, grip to it so it doesn't slide out of your hands and obviously with the flipper one of the reasons why I love the flipper just to talk about the flipper and why I chose the flipper uh, I like the flipper because if if the ceramic blades uh, ball bearings went out, I could still get this knife out. Uh, it might not go out as fast as it does when the ball bearings are working, but the thing about a flipper is you can still get it get it out. I don't like those assistant uh, blades and and knives, and uh, you know if you have any issues with them, then you can't get the blade out. And and as far as like the Emerson has the little nub up top here to open it up and that does take longer and uh and it can be more of a pain in the butt at times but i still could get this blade out if i needed to but having a flipper to me i think is one of the fastest ways uh to get a knife out as far as you know not having to worry about any mechanical issues and to me the flipper is the way to go um i think you can't you can't beat it um does have the G10 scales, uh, the glass breaker, and it has, like I mentioned before, it has the glass breaker, and it's an oversized handle. This knife is, uh, when you go on their page and read more about it, uh, this knife was designed for you know law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, military. Uh, this is what this knife was designed for, uh, for that aspect. So as far as emergencies go, you know, if, um, you know, being a first responder, uh, you know, a firefighter stuff. If you needed to break, break glass to get into somewhere, you could. And hold on. Let me let the dog out. You wanna go outside? Yeah, please. Anyways, if you uh, needed to break glass, you could. And with the extended hand on the back, you wouldn't have to worry about it hitting your hand and getting your hand cut up if you didn't have gloves on. And so if you were breaking glass. And then also for striking, in the self-defense, you know, if you wanted, if you couldn't get the blade out in time, and somebody came up, you could get this knife out, and then use it as a striking, uh, you know, striking uh, object. So, and that, and the glass breaker, it's made out of, uh, what was it? Uh, let me see. I saw that, and I was like, man, that's pretty cool right there. Uh, was it Tus Tus Tuscan or Tus? Tustin alloy. Uh, it's it's the same alloy that's used in armor armor piercing rounds. Uh, so this glass breaker, I mean, it's the alloy is very strong, and it's the same stuff used in uh, armor pier piercing rounds. So, anyways, that's what the glass breaker is. Um, ceramic ball bearings. I talked about the short clip, which I really like. Rise super deep. Um, black hardware, 100% black hardware, jipping on the flipper and the spine, cryogenic treatment, and titanium makes toughest. So this, the cryogenic uh, treatment that they use and uh, titanium uh, makes this a very tough knife. Uh, great for everyday, uh, you know, tasks, you know, whether whatever the task may be, uh, but really heavy duty blade, um, and with that coating. And then the, the steel and then the titanium coating on it uh, really makes it for a great knife uh, for work-wise. Um, little wear, you know, you don't have to worry about it wearing down on you because of the titanium coating. 
a uh, little damage to it, corrosion resistance. That was another thing I like. Being down here in Florida, uh, you know, you have a lot of blades that are stainless steel because we have a lot of salt water. And, uh, you know, we have issues with knives rusting with all the humidity. So this uh, blade here, uh, corrosion resistance, which is good. It does hold the edge longer because of the steel. Okay, well, first of all, you give me these, little girl. You want one? You or something else. All right, here you go. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Um, oh, it holds the edge longer. Uh, the edge was very sharp uh, getting this blade. Um, I always like to take my sharpener and just touch them up a little bit, but I used this thing yesterday and I couldn't believe how easy it cut through. And uh, also, when I first got it, I did shave my hairs on my arm there, which I'll go ahead and do the other side here. I was showing my wife how sharp it is. But, yeah, it's shaving. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it's shaving the hairs right off my arm. So very sharp. Like I said, I always uh, like to touch them up just to, on my end to make sure it's like to the standard I like. But uh, it was sharp coming out the box. Uh, holds the edge longer. Um, with the black wash, it does hide a lot of the wear and tear that'll happen to the blade. So you won't see a lot of... Uh, imperfections and and also with the steel uh, you don't have to worry about chipping the blade as much that's one thing I wanted to talk about the thickness of this blade so um, but it does uh, does hold the edge well and then you know with the black wash and the corrode titanium coating it does help with any chipping or any damage to the blade so it really makes it a solid strong knife um, a folded knife what was I say? Glass breaker, piercing. Yeah, we already. Done. I, I wrote everything down here. That way, I have it all. Uh, yeah, wait for impact. And it's, the great thing about the reason why the tactical tactical knives need to have, be hefty and have weight to them. Bless you, princess. Um, they're great. You know, if you're using this as a uh, blunt force, you know, instrument to hit somebody, you want to have some weight to it to back it up. And then with the heavy steel, and then the weight. And then the impact, uh, it makes for a great striking um, tool. So, now those you can't have. I got to cook those. Put those back. Um, but anyways, uh, really helps with it. And especially if you're hitting a glass, you know, you want to have some weight on it so you can hit it and break the glass too. Um, so that'll help with that, with the glass and striking. Anyways, like I said before, uh, 6.5 ounces. Uh, it does have... The safety switch on it, which I really like, and this is good when you got to use it for hard use, uh, and you need it to be solid. Uh, so I am thinking about uh, I am gonna do maybe a a video, you know, using the strike uh, glass breaker, hitting some objects, and seeing how how much damage it does, and then also trying out this safety switch, maybe some small baton, and just to see how it does. Uh, I might do a video on that. But anyways, it does have the safety switch, so it locks it. And you can't you can't unlock it here but uh, I like that feature I thought that was a nice feature it's a safety switch for hard use um, the blade uh, length is a little bit over three inches 3.125 um, is what the blade length the handle is four and a half inches long so you got a four and a half inches on the handle and then a little over three inches on the blade so, uh, about almost a little over so What happened? I, okay, I'll get it here. Uh, it's a, you know, a little over seven inches uh, as far as the total length on it. Um, and then, like I said, I talked about the Japanese steel and then um, the blade thickness. So that's what I wanted to talk about. So, one of the things I love about this blade is how thick it is. And this is a lot of the reason why this blade is three and a half millimeters thick. So a very thick blade. Uh, that was one of the first things I noticed when I took it out, how thick that blade was and plus with the weight. Uh, but that's where you see a lot of the weight comes in because of the thickness of this reverse Tonto blade. So uh, really like that solid blade. Uh, lines up well, you know, as far as sitting in, uh, you know, down the middle there. It's, 
sits in real well. I'm still kind of breaking it in as far as the flipper goes. Um, just to kind of show you the difference. Here's another folding knife I have. Now, this is a, what is it, the CRKT uh, Home Front. This came out a while back. Uh, really nice blade. Uh, one thing I love about the home front is you can actually take this knife apart and then clean it easy. Uh, now, I bought this uh, for outdoor use. All right, careful now. Uh, this is actually in my uh, bug out roll. Uh, but this blade, I bought the hunting and fish. Savannah, come on now. I bought the hunting and fishing one, uh, which this blade is used. Daddy. Yes. Okay, you got to be careful. Don't go up there, okay? All right, I'll get in a minute. Let me finish this. This blade is used for skinning and filleting. Uh, it makes a great skinning and filleting knife. That's why I got it. Uh, so this is more of like a hunting and fishing outdoors knife. A great folding knife to have on you. And then being that you can take it apart, uh, really makes it uh, easy to clean and keep up with. Especially if you're filleting and skinning. You want to make sure you got a nice clean uh, blade. So that's why I have this. Uh, you can see with the pocket clip, it's a lot longer. So it doesn't sit deep in the pocket. So as far as EDC, it's probably not the best EDC knife. But the home front was a really sweet blade uh, when it came out because you can break it down. Now, as flipper on with the flipper on here, this doesn't have the jimping on it like uh, the Sea Dog does. And uh, done. Hey, but you can tell with the flipper, like like when I flip it up, it doesn't go up. I have to. You know, kind of whip it to get it to come all the way out. Um, this knife is you know, fairly okay. Careful, close the door. Close it. You didn't close it all the way. All right, thank you, Princess. Okay, put close it on the back. There you go. Thank you. Anyways, uh, the flipper, as you can see, see it just hit my finger on that one, but and it doesn't have that jumping on it. But see how that flipper doesn't? I have to whip it to get it to come out. With this one. Ain't no whipping nothing. You get you a good flip on it. And then having that jimping on there, you know, seeing the difference, I can feel that jimping compared to that one. Not having any jimping. And you can just really get a nice grip down on it when you go to flip it and then, you know, flip it out. And with the ceramic ball bearings, oh yeah, I mean, it's, that's nice. That's real nice. But that's one thing, if the ball bearings went out, I could at least flip it out still and be able to get the blade out if I needed to. But... Uh, but anyway, so this is a home front. Just wanted to compare. And this is heavier than the home front. And the home front was always considered a heavy folding knife. But this one's actually heavier. and uh, But it's way more uh, solid. It's a more solid blade. Come back in here. What is that? Close. You let a bug in the house. Anyways. That's the Sea Dog version 2 Blackout. Uh, my new EDC uh, for 2021. Uh, folding knife. Uh, great knife, great blade. Um, just make sure I went over everything. Didn't forget nothing. But uh, yeah, safety switch, huge plus. Uh, I love that black wash uh, finish to it. How everything's blacked out on it. Uh, love that G the G10 scales on it. The handle. You know, if your hands were wet or you know you have blood on you, uh, you know you can still have a nice grip on it and be able to use it. Um, yeah, but feels great in the hand. Like I said, I got medium-sized hands. And you can see I still, it's got the extended back on it. So if I needed a little striking and then hitting at the same time, you could use this in different ways. Um, but anyways, guys, awesome, awesome EDC knife. And I know a lot of guys like to carry ultralight, you know, EDC knives, especially if you're in a backpacking and uh, you know, I think the bug out, what was it, the bug out knife that came out, I forgot who put it out. I uh, get your fingers out of there now. Savannah, get them out of there now. Little girl, you got to stop. Stop. You don't do that. Oh, sorry y'all, she's our handful. She's worse than the boys and always into something. But anyways, uh, you know, the bug out knife, I think it was called. I forgot who put it out. Canadian Prepper had it. A lot of guys were buying it. But to me, those knives are so light, there's no weight to them. Yeah, they're good for, I guess, everyday tasks and carrying in your pocket. But if I'm going to have a self-defense knife, which that's one thing with Bone Tactical. In an SHTF situation, I have my neck knives, my Relentless. I would be wearing that. 
And uh, one thing Bone Tactical and all his guys uh, do, they always have two knives on them. Uh, they always carry a folder and then they have a, a neck knife or some type of fixed blade on them. He always recommends having two knives on you. Uh, and what he tells these guys living down there in Honduras. Ah, uh ah, -uh. princess, come here. Stay where I can see you. Doug, come on. But, um, uh, anyways, he always highly, highly recommends having two knives on you. In an SHTF situation, I would have this knife on me, plus my neck knife, my relentless, or the ghost knife, uh, neck knife. So, uh, but if I'm, like I said, I bought this. Because the times we're living in and the way things are in today's country and what I believe uh, it, things are going to be getting worse before they get better, I wanted to make sure that all my tools for self-defense were in par and that I wasn't slacking in any areas for that. Uh, so that's why you know I, I purchased this and that's why I went with a hefty tactical knife and a reverse Tonto. So uh, check them out guys. Uh, off-grid knives. Let's see if I can get me a nice little picture here, huh? Off-grid knives. Sea Dog version 2 Blackout. Awesome blade. Really loved it. Carried it yesterday. Uh, the only issue I did have uh, as far as the clip goes uh, on the pants I got, they're real old wore out pants and they're not tactical pants. They're just word pants. But uh, being that, and like these ones here, how you know, this real flimsy on here, it's not solid. Like tactical pants are nice and tight. And uh, so when I'm putting this on, this it slides on good on these ones. But the pants I had yesterday, I had a heck of a time, you know, sometimes trying to get it back. When I take it out, trying to put it back in my pant, I really had to use two hands to get it back in there. Uh, but if you have some good hefty tactical pants or hefty pants or jeans, uh, or like you know these slid on pretty good it just actually slid on real good on these uh but these are lightweight shorts uh you know uh, put out by real legend so they're like dry fit shorts but anyways um did have an issue with the sliding that clip on but not the clip's fault it's the jeans the pants fault uh because they're old and cheap and wore out but anyways but other than that awesome blade check them out off grid knives really love it um might have some new videos coming here. Sorry, y'all. That's my other phone. That's the business line. Um, might have some uh, new videos coming out here with some maybe new products or something. We'll see what happens. But as in right now, that's pretty much it on the list. And I just wanted to update my EDC with a better EDC folder knife. So anyways, guys, take care. God bless. Hope this could help somebody. Definitely check out off-grid knives and check out what they the selection they have. They have all kinds of different knives, fixed blades, I think, too, and folders, so definitely check them out. All right, you guys, take care, God bless, and I'll see you on the next one. All right.